Half a day, students. I am Governor Lou Leon Guerrero. Welcome to PBS University. Our friends at PBS Guam and the Guam Department of Education put this episode together with some fun and exciting learning material to help you keep up with your studies. So thank you for joining us on another learning adventure. Sidzu Usmasi and have a great listen. PBS University is a program by PBS Guam and the Guam Department of Education in conjunction with public school teachers. These lessons are created to provide both parents and students with a unique educational experience while helping students to continue learning at home. PBS University, next on PBS Guam. One, two, three, four. Come along, let's sing a song. We'll have a great adventure. Today's the day. It's really windy here. Did you know that the strongest gust of wind was recorded in Australia? It was about 253 miles per hour. Yes, it was so strong. And the wind is getting really strong here too. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hey kids, welcome to PBS University. This is my favorite time of year. Can you guess what time of year it is? Take a look at my hat. I am an elf. I'm Santa's helper. When does Santa come around? You're right, Christmas time. Today's episode is the Christmas episode. What do we normally say? And I know you know this. What do we normally say at Christmas time? People ask, what do you want for Christmas? And you say, I want. And if you're a Chamorro kid, you say, Malagutzu. I want. Malagutzu bicicleta. I want a bicycle. Mm, maybe Malagutzu finat matmas. I want dessert. <laughs> That's what I say at Christmas time. It's nice to say, put for bot too. Put for bot. Malagutzu finat matmas. Please, I want dessert. And Christmas is a time where we get to ask what we want, but it's also a time to give. There are things that don't cost anything, like sounds, sounds are free. Some of my favorite memories of Christmas have to do with music. Singing is free. That would be a beautiful gift for somebody to sing them a Christmas carol or any song for whatever holiday you celebrate. I also love the sounds of words. Well, some of my favorite beginning sounds, remember sounds at the beginning of a word, some of my favorite Christmas beginning sounds begin with the sound G in gift, G in give, G in girl. I also love the sound K. We hear K a lot. It's in K Christmas. It's in K cookie. We hear it in Christmas cookie. K, K. These are great sounds. You're going to practice listening for words that begin with the G and K sound. And we're going to do it through a very special Christmas book. The name of the book is Carl's Christmas. Already, do you hear K Carl K Christmas? Right. And so that every time I'm about to say a K or K sound, you will see an elf hat appear. That elf hat is a signal to you to ooh, get your detective ears, your elf ears ready. 
and waiting to hear the word that I'm going to say. It could be cookie, it could be Christmas, it could be good, it could be any of these words. But I want you to pay attention to listening to those words that begin with g and k. That is our lesson, but it won't feel like a lesson because you'll be also listening to a story about an amazing dog named Carl. Now remember, as you listen to Carl's Christmas, I want you to answer this question. What are the wonderful gifts that are free that Carl gives to the baby girl? Remember, these gifts don't come wrapped in boxes. Pay attention to that and listen for some answers at the end of this lesson today. So, enjoy Carl's Christmas by Alexandra Day. Carl's Christmas by Alexandra Day. We're going to grandma's and then to church. Take good care of the baby, Carl. Carl took the baby downstairs to see the Christmas tree. They wrapped a beautiful present, and then Carl took the baby downtown to see some toys in the store window. Be our 1,000th customer and win this beautiful Christmas basket, says the sign. And Carl and baby won the Christmas basket with a new friend watching. Outside the store, Santa was asking for help from the needy. Baby gave her knitted cap, and Carl gave their Christmas basket. On the way home, they picked up their new friend and greeted Kitty Cat at the door. They all sat cozy by the fire, and when they fell asleep, Carl heard a noise. It was Santa and his reindeer. Santa gave cheese to the mice, a bone for the new friend, fish for Kitty Cat, and a beautiful Christmas collar for Carl. It was time to go to bed, and Baby had her new cap. Merry Christmas, Carl. I love that story. He took good, g good care, c care of the baby girl. And what an amazing gift to give somebody. Not just Christmas time, but any time is to take good care of the people you love. It doesn't cost anything. Carl doesn't have money, he's a dog. And he's amazing. But you know what? You are amazing too. And I tell you that at the end of every episode, and especially now when you go on vacation, Think of all the amazing things that you can do that don't cost anything. And you will come up with a lot of ideas, I know, because you are amazing. So, we'll see you next time on PBS University. I hope you have a great season of giving. G giving. And I'll see you again soon. Adios! Hi kids, this is Mr. Ernesto Choco, and for your fast fun fact, I brought a good friend of mine, Nikki. And we're gonna talk a little bit about pride. Did you know that the rainbow flag represents the lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, and queer slash questioning community? Yes, and it also represents the diversity that we have in the world. And we should always remember to celebrate and respect that. That's it for your fast fun fact, bye. Holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays and welcome to Math for Kindergarten here on PBS University. I'm Miss Thurber and today we're going to learn about a special holiday that happens in December called Hanukkah, the Jewish Festival of Lights. And for that, we're going to have a special guest come in and see us. Are you ready to have some fun today? Okay, let's go. Shalom, Miss Thurber. 
Shalom, that's an interesting word. What does that mean? Shalom is the Hebrew word for peace. It also gets used as a greeting, so you can use it for hello or goodbye. Wow, that's kind of like aloha. Exactly like that. Huh. When somebody says shalom to you, you can respond either with shalom or you can say shalom shalom. Oh, I like shalom shalom. That's fun. Let's practice that one more time then. Okay. Shalom, Ms. Thurber. Shalom shalom, Dave. <laughs> this is my friend Dave. He's come today to talk to us about his favorite holiday from childhood, Hanukkah, the Jewish Festival of Lights. And we're going to play a game today that's going to be really exciting. Are you ready? Oh, guess what? What? I brought you a surprise. <gasps> a surprise? Oh, I love surprises. You love surprises too, don't you, boys and girls? Yeah, uh, can I have a hint? No, but after our lesson today, you can have the surprise. I think you'll like it. Oh, well, okay, I'll have to be patient then. We'll have to be patient, boys and girls. So let's find out what we're going to do today. So we're here to learn about a tradition from your childhood, playing dreidel. Why do you play this game at Hanukkah? That's a great question, Ms. Diane. The tradition, uh, as I learned it, is that Throughout history, Jews were not always free to practice their religion. And letters on the side of the dreidel are Hebrew letters, and they, they represent the phrase nes gadol hayasham, which means a great miracle happened there. The way that we play dreidel is that we each start with some stash of coins or gelt. So these will be mine and those will be yours. Okay. And then at the beginning of each turn, we First, ante a coin into the pot. So I put in one, two, and then we take turns spinning the dreidel. Do you want to go first? Two. Hey, when that happens, that means that you take half of the pot. So let's see what half of this is. So half, there's two. So if I take one, that leaves one. That's half. Wow, all right, right, good deal. So now it's my turn. Let's ante again. Oh, so I have to give it right back. You do. Oh, one, two, three, okay. Well, then let's give it another spin. Hey, it's hey again. Hey. So we've got three coins here. Uh-oh. What's half of three? Hmm. Well, that doesn't seem to divide very evenly. Hmm. So I'm going to <laughs> no. leave the extra one in the pot. So we've got one, two, three. I'm going to take <laughs> one of these. Oh, that's very nice. That way you don't leave the pot empty. That's good. So one more in. One more in. That's two, three, three, four. And a big spin. This time it landed on Nun. When that happens, you don't take any of the coins. Oh. It's, you just, none. Nothing happens. None. None. Nothing. Let's ante again. All right. How That's, many is that? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And one more for me is five. Six. All right. right. My turn to spin. Go. It's dramatic waiting for it. Oh, also oh. none. Also, also nothing. none. Okay, well, Turn. six, seven, eight. <laughs> hey! Hey. <laughs> hey, again, means half. So you take half wow. of the coins. So how many were there in here? I think there were eight. Well, let's count them and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That means four is half of eight. I'm gonna put this back. Now we have four in the pot. Your turn. Shin. Shin. When that happens, I have to contribute one into the pot. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six in here now. Plus one for me is seven. Seven, eight. Hey, Gimel, 
That's the one that you really want. When Gimmel comes up, you take all of the coins in the pot. All of them? It's like Gimme. Gimme Gimmel. Okay. So how Let's many is see. that? That's a lot. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how do you get a winner in this game? The last person in the game is the winner. And if you run out of coins, then unfortunately you're out of the game. Oh. So with just the two of us, as soon as one of us runs out of coins, the other person wins. On the next round, we'd have to ante again, and I am out of coins. And you're all out. So that means that you're the winner. Oh, wow. I want, thank you. So I get to keep these two. How many did I end up with? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, that's five in each row and there are four rows of five coins and that makes 20. Wow, that's a lot. Sure is a lot. Wow, that was really fun. Thanks for playing dreidel with me, Dave. Thanks for inviting me over, Miss Thurber. Are you ready for your surprise? Oh, yes! Remember, boys and girls? We have a surprise waiting for us. Look, I got you your very own dreidel. Oh, wow! So now you can play whenever you want. Oh, thank you, Mr. Dave. That's the coolest present ever. Well, you're welcome. I had a lot of fun here today, but I have to get going. Oh. But I'm going to say shalom, Miss Thurber. Shalom, shalom, Dave. And thanks for coming. It's been so fun. Well, that's all the time we have for today, boys and girls, on PBS University Math for Kindergarten. I'm Miss Thurber, and I'll see you the next time. And until then, remember, mistakes allow for thinking to happen. So keep trying and doing your very best. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Shalom. Bye-bye. Do you know who said what goes up must come down? If you said Sir Isaac Newton, you're right. He discovered the laws of gravity and motion and he invented calculus. And that's your fast fun fact. Hi, kinder friends. It's Mrs. Pacheco, your kinder teacher for science. Ne Christmas on him. That's a holiday greeting in Chookies. You caught me in the middle of decorating. This winter holiday, we're gonna see lots of decorations around Guam. Everybody celebrates the holidays differently, and in my house, we celebrate Christmas. For Christmas, we get a Christmas tree, and we also sing Christmas songs. We even tell Christmas jokes. You want to hear one? Okay. What is a Christmas tree's favorite candy? We'll find out a little bit later. But first, let's finish up these decorations for the holidays. I'm making holiday decorations for our Christmas tree. But it kind of looks like I'm going to cook because I've got different ingredients here down on my table. My family celebrates the holidays by making our own decorations. We use salt and flour and warm water. Oh, and paints too, if you have. All of these ingredients put together are gonna be called ornaments. What's an ornament? An ornament is a kind of decoration. That doesn't do much else except look nice. Mm, these are some ornaments if you've never seen them before. Today, we're gonna use some science to make some ornaments. We're gonna be making observations and predictions. What are observations? Observation. And you say observation. And observation is when you look at something and make notes. You take notes about what happened. 
a prediction. Prediction. A prediction is when you make a guess about what's going to happen to something next. And remember, for this experiment decoration making mission, we're going to be using some flour, some warm water, and a little bit of salt. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hi, Kobe. Hi. Thanks for helping me out today. You're welcome. What do you think we're making? Cookie cutters. No, we're not making cookie cutters. We're making ornaments. <gasps> Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? The first thing we'll need is... Flour. Here we go. This is flour. Ooh. Show the people. Flour. What do you think flour is? Flour is soft. We also need salt. Salt. We need flour, salt, and water. Good job. Wait, what are we gonna put it in? A bowl. B -b bowl. A bowl. Ooh. Is that big enough, do you think? Uh-huh. We also need some cookie cutters. Here you go. Oh. These are Christmas cookie cutters. What's this one called? This one is a stocking. This one. Oh, it's a snowman. A snowman. This one is a tree. Christmas tree. We have the spoon, the cookie cutters, the bowl. The, what is it called again? Salt. Salt. And the powder. Flower. Flower. Hello. <laughs> I call it powder sometimes. It is like a powder, right? Uh-huh, because it's so soft. Kobe, can you pour some flour in the bowl? Yeah. That's it? No, that's only a little. Oh, that's a lot. Is that good, you think? Yes. Now let's pour a little bit of salt in the bowl. Okay, that's good. It is white, right? Yes, they're both white. <laughs> now use this spoon and mix it. Oh, yeah. How? Just mix it. Mix, mix, mix. Mix it all good. Mix, mix, mix. Now, it doesn't really look like dough, right? It looks like pancake mix. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add a little bit more flour. More flour. Now mix it. Mix, mix, mix. Ew! Kobe, how does it look now? It looks like poop. Put a finger in, tell me how it feels. It feels soft. Kobe, it's about to get messy, so I laid down some parchment paper. Are you ready? Now that we've got our ornaments ready, we have to bake them. So let's go put them in the oven. What do you think is going to happen when you put it in the oven? Will it get hard or soft? Yeah, it gets hard. much fun and so much science. Those were some beautiful ornaments we made today. I am so happy we got to use science to make something amazing and beautiful. I think we're ready to use science for real life. Until next time, kinder friends, spread love, not germs. Oh, wow. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi, we're looking at the beautiful, beautiful night sky. And look at all the stars mm -hmm. and the moon yes. and my favorite constellation right over there. It's the Southern Cross. Oh, cool. Speaking of moons, for your fast fun fact today, did you know that even though Earth has one moon, there are some planets that have multiple moons? Yes, I know. <laughs> Jupiter has 82 moons. Can you believe it? 82. 82, that's a lot of moons. And you know, there's two planets that don't have any moons at all. Really? 
Yes, Venus and Mercury. Really? Oh man, it must be sad to look at their sky. Yeah, no moon, but we have a beautiful moon in we our sky. We do. Oh, and that's it for our fast fun fact, everyone. Bye bye. Bye. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to an episode of Learning with Mrs. Castro. Hello, this is my first time being your kinder social studies teacher. I'm so happy to be here with you, and I hope you're happy to be here with me. Ifa Itom, which is, what is your name? Ifa Itom, let's say that together. Ifa Itom. Good job! Then you say, ite, which is, my name is. So I'm going to say, ite, Mrs. Casho. Your turn, ite. Good job! I actually have a special guest. Let's bring her in. Come on. Hello! Ifa Itom, what is your name? Say, ite. Unai. <laughs> Good job. This is Unai. She's missing something. I'm going to use my magic bubble wand and we're going to put her hat on her. Ready? That's not the hat that we want. Let's try again. That's not the hat we want. Let's try again. There we go. Unai, what kind of hat is this? Red. Red? What? Who wears this hat? What's his name? He has a big white beard and a red suit. His name is? Santa. Santa! Boys and girls, did you know that there are different names that Santa goes by around the world? You'll find out some at the end of the video. What holiday uses these hats? When do we wear these hats? Do we wear them in... Easter? Christmas! Good job! What colors are in Christmas? Red and, and white. And what color is this? Green. Green! So red and green are the colors of Christmas! In today's episode, we are going to take a magical journey to go look at some landmarks in Hagatnya. And we'll take a look at some landmarks around the world. Let's go on a learning adventure. Are you ready, Unai? Let's use our magic bubble wand. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, boys and girls. This is our first stop on our landmark adventure. We are in Hagatnya at the Laddie Stone Park. This is an amazing park with lots of laddie stones, shady trees, and places to run around. You'll also see an amazing statue of our late Senator Angel Santos. Next up on our tour is the Plaza de España. Plaza de España is a great place. It has lots of cool structures, a big open field to run around, and it also has the amazing Guam sign. What does G-U-A-M spell? It spells Guam! And finally on our Hagatnya landmark adventure, this is the Guam seal at Paseo Park. Paseo has cool beaches, it also has swings and monkey bars. And here on our landmark adventure, we've journeyed to New York City. And this is the Statue of Liberty. Now let's take a plane ride and go all the way to London, England. And this is where you'll see the Big Ben. You see that big clock in the back? That's Big Ben. And now it's time for a reindeer treat. For this treat, you're going to need some popcorn, red and green chocolate candies, and some pretzels. Carefully, you want to pour all your ingredients into one big bowl. And then you're going to shake, shake, shake. Keep shaking. Once it's all shaked up, 
You're gonna wanna pour it into a smaller container and then you're gonna wanna enjoy it. And, and I didn't forget, here are some other names that Santa Claus goes by around the world. You have Father Christmas, Kris Kringle, Papa Noel, Baba Noel, and the list goes on. Hi boys and girls, thank you so much for being with me here today. We saw some cool landmarks in Haganya and we also saw some landmarks in the United States and in other parts of the world. Today, we made some reindeer treats and we're going to finish off by reading Eight Jolly Reindeer. Are you ready? Eight Jolly Reindeer stretching up to heaven up goes Dasher and then there are seven Jolly Reindeer start their kicks. Up goes Dancer and then there are six Jolly Reindeer learning how to drive. Up goes Prancer and then there are five Jolly Reindeer ready to soar. Up goes Vixen and then there are Four Jolly Reindeer jumping with glee. Up goes Comet and then there are... Three Jolly Reindeer steady their crew. Up goes Cupid and then there are... Two Jolly Reindeer start to run. Up goes Donner and then there is... One Jolly Reindeer finds his gate. Up goes Blitzen and then there are eight Jolly Reindeer flying with the light. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And that's the eight Jolly Reindeer by Scholastic. Thank you so much for being with me here today, boys and girls. I hope you have a fun holiday season with your loved ones. Remember, you are amazing and practice makes perfect. Have an awesome day and an awesome Christmas season. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, hi PBS friends. Did you know that mosquitoes, <laughs> they're attracted to people who have just eaten bananas? shouldn't have eaten that. And they're also attracted to people who are wearing blue or the color blue. Oh, right oh, there. Wow, ah, ah, oh, and ah, They're everywhere. And, ah, ah, oh my God, they're everywhere. <gasps> That's a fast fun fact. Bye. Bye. Top floor, please. Ah, I just got off the elevator. What is in half a day, boys and girls? Welcome to PBS University. I am Mr. Diego, and in character education today, we're going to learn about being present, being there for people, being there for our friends. It is the holidays, Christmas season. I know it's not Halloween. It doesn't look that scary. I know it's not Thanksgiving. I don't smell any food. It looks like it's Christmas. I can see a Christmas tree. Awesome. Now time for the joke of the day. The joke is, what music do elves listen to while they work? Again, what music do elves listen to when they work? Ho, 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 ho. I will tell you the joke, the end of the joke, at the end of this episode. All right, stay tuned. Stay with me. Stay with me. Our diversity phrase for the day is in Chukese. It is Ifa Usum. Ifa Usum. That's our diversity phrase for today. Ifa Usum. Can you repeat after me? Ifa Usum. That means, how are you in Chukese? Ifa Usum. I'm doing good. That's our diversity phrase for today. Ifa Usum. What will we be doing today? First, let's read a book on good deeds. Reading time with Mr. Diego, it's a story about a fire that does good deeds and helps others. But we can always be careful since fire is dangerous. Here is I Am Fire by Jean Marzolo. Fire heats your soup. Oh, yum. I can see nice tomato soup being poured in that picture. Next page. Fire warms your rooms. 
Oh, nice and cozy. Fire lights your life, right? Especially when it's a birthday, but watch out. Fire can be harmful. Children can help prevent fires. If you find matches, give them to a grown-up. Do not try to light them. Watch fireworks with a grown-up. Stay way back. Fire is hot. Don't touch fire. Don't touch hot things. Just look. Practice fire drills at home. Always safe. If your clothes are on fire, stop where you are. Drop to the ground, roll over and over to smother the flames. Remember these three words, stop, drop, and roll. And if you want to know more about fire, always ask a grown-up. The end. That was awesome, reading that book on good deeds. Um, I learned a lot. I learned to help others, help friends. That makes me want to help family and friends. We should help everyone. Now. Let's get the students to help each other. Sometimes students eat lunch alone, and it's always awesome if we can accompany them, if we see someone lonely. Always nice to make a friend. Here we can see Nathan Arceo walking up to John and joining him for lunch. He noticed John was alone and didn't want him to eat lunch alone. What a good idea. Sometimes you can see students drop their stuff, right? Their bag falls and all their books and supplies spill out. You should help them pick them up. Don't laugh at them, help them. All right, Bella's coming in from class. I think she was picking up some books from the library. Awesome, awesome. Oh no, she fell, but look at Mari run, help her up. We always want to help people, whoever drop things, always be there for them. Awesome, awesome. Sometimes we may see students being bullied by others. Now, we should always tell an adult when we see that, and we always want to be there and help them. We don't want bullying to occur. None of that here. All right, here's Jaden at his lockers, just looking for some books, and I see he's bumped into, oh, looks like a little scuffle's going on. Glad Admin was there to stop it. Always want to keep the peace. If we see students don't have snacks, it's always nice to share snacks, especially unopened snacks that you can give them that you may not want or need. Hey, here we are at recess. I noticed Zanaya may not have any snacks. Luckily, Bella is always willing to share her extra snacks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, that was a lot of great good deeds done by the students. Great, great job. Bravo, bravo. To thank the students, I allowed them to play with the drone and they felt like creating a play with that drone. It's about a cat stuck in a tree. Let's check it out. Here's Mari. Hey Mari, she seemed to have lost her cat and she can't find it. I think it's stuck in a tree. Who could help her? Well, here are two strong heroes to help her out. She's saying, please help me with a drone, get my cat out the tree. And here Ammon and Nathan are there. Oh, watch out. Let's fly it forward towards the cat. The cat that's stuck in a tree. All right. Let's maneuver carefully around that first tree, around the hula hoops. Let's get through our class. And okay, I can see the tree. Let's try and reposition ourselves, reposition ourselves. Ammon's using the force. Oh, we could see that cat right there stuck in the tree. As the drone approaches it, let's do it carefully so that no one gets hurt. Here's a bottom angle so you can see it's flying. There's no strings holding it up. That's a real drone. All right, time to save this cat. Let's get in position and fly. Zoom towards it, locked on, boom. Let's rescue this cat. All right. Great. We got to fly the drone. That was awesome. We got to help others and see good deeds. We got to read to each other. We got to do so many things and we learned a diversity phrase for the day in Chuki. Ifa Usu. How are you? Well, we're doing well and we are at the end of the episode. So, the end of the joke. Do you remember what the joke was? 
what music do elves listen to when they work? They listen to rap music. Chicka chicka, rap music. Well, now that's the elves' favorite music. Let me end with a rap and say goodbye that way. We've come to the end of the episode you see. Thank you for learning character education with me. We learned about helping before making this rhyme. This is Mr. Diego, goodbye, and see you next time. Bye, boys and girls. Jungle bells, coconut shells, sick of birds all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a two-wheel car about sleigh. Hey! Hey! Do you guys like Christmas caroling? Oh my gosh, it's so much fun! Oh, when is PBS Friends? Look, you guys, it's our PBS Friends. We were having so much fun going around Christmas caroling. And music is definitely one of the very best ways to bring in the holiday spirit. And I'm sure you all have songs you sing in your culture that celebrate holidays or special days. You know what? Make sure that you guys write to us at PBS Guam and like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And make sure you click on that little bell for notifications. One of my favorite songs is Silent Night in Samoru. It's called Puengin Zu Us. Would you guys like to sing that? Yeah, you know what? We should totally sing that on our way to Senora Rufina's class. That's I know true. And she'll join in with us too. So let's chart. Puengin Zu Us. Let's go. Puengin Jesus. Tomorrow time with Senora. Mag of not so buena, my PBS University friends. Mag of not so buena and mag of not so buena is Merry Christmas in tomorrow. Are you excited for Christmas? I am. Senora is so excited. How do you say mag of noche buena in your language, Famagun? Maule, awesome! So now, Famagun, before Senora reach you the story, I will teach you three words today. The first word is trunk and Christmas. Trunk and Christmas. And trunk and Christmas in English is Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Can you say Trunk and Christmas in your language? Maule! Our next word from Agun is Paketi. Paketi. Paketi is presents. Paketi. Can you say Paketi in your language? Awesome! Our last word from Agun is Hugeti. Hugeti. Hugeti is toys. Can you say Hugeti in your language? Awesome! So, from a good, Senora will tell you the story Muñeca para Christmas, written by my friend Ewi Titano. Pay attention to the words you learned today in the story. Muñeca para Christmas, written by my friend Ewi Titano. You know, it's already vacation, Christmas vacation, and all the kids are at home. So Tsetsa came from a very large family, and there is a Christmas tree in the living room. Tsetsa went over to the trunk on Christmas, the Christmas tree. She noticed that there's a lot of paquete under the tree. She looked one by one to see if her name was there. Suddenly, she went to the living room and sat down. She's feeling so tristy sad. Her brother Roberto came over. Hoffa Tetsa na tristy how, Roberto said. Why are you so sad? I just went over to the trunk on Christmas and my name is not even there in any of the paquetti, said Tetsa. Oh, don't be tristy, Tetsa. Don't be sad, Roberto said. Don't worry, you will get yours soon. In Guam, you will get paquetti 
in another day, not just on one day. Nana's in the kitchen cooking for the familia. And then the next day came, Tessa looked again under the tree. Tessa, there's nothing under the trunk on Christmas. She did not find her name. Then the night before Christmas, there was a sound outside. Tessa, Nana, and Roberto said, Tessa, Tessa, go out and see what's that sound. It's like jingle bells. Tessa ran outside the house. She saw a fire truck coming and she's so excited. She was hoping that Santa Claus will come. Little did she know, Santa Claus, Senor Santa Claus, is on top of the truck came a son, the fire truck. Ho, 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 as he got down the truck. And all the Famaguun are outside around the truck, to include Nana and Tata. Tessa was the, in the very front. And Senor Santa Claus has a big bag of goodies. He asked, Is there anybody here by the name of Tessa? Oh, that's me, Senor Santa Claus. That's me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I have paquete for you, Tessa. So Senor Santa Claus reached into his bag, handed over a big paquete for Tessa. She's so excited, she ran in the house, and all her brothers and sisters followed. And then Nana said, Go ahead, Tessa, open your paquete. When Tessa opened it, first she started slowly, and then she was so excited, she just started tearing all the wrappers, and she yelled so loud, Yay! So from a good, Let's review what we've learned today. Our first word, who remember what bag of noche buena means? Yes, Merry Christmas. Our next word is Christmas tree. What is Christmas tree in Chamorro Famagun? Yes, Chonk and Christmas. How about paquete, paquete? Who remember what paquete means? Yes, presents. And our last word from a good hugeti. Who remember what hugeti is? Awesome. Toys. Toys. Awesome. Great job from a good. I will tell you now who comes around during Christmas time and gives us what we always wanted. And guess what? I, I was always a good girl because I knew somebody's going to come during Christmas time to give me my favorite paquete and my favorite hugeti under that trunk of Christmas. Yes, somebody, I heard somebody said, Senor Santa Claus. Good job. Have Senor Santa Claus come to your house during Christmas? Molly, and guess what? Santa Claus did not walk to our house. He rides on the fire truck. Fire truck. And in tomorrow, it's called Truck Kimason. Awesome. So are you excited? I am excited because it's Christmas time. Remember, Famagluan, even the littlest things can make big things happen for you, Hagu, for me, Wahoo, and the whole wide world. See you tomorrow. Adios! I'm Josh Tenorio, your Lieutenant Governor. 
Thank you for being with us today and for taking the time to continue your learning with PBS University. I also want to thank your teachers and support staff at DOE and PBS Guam for their work and their commitment to you, our students. Si dus and we hope that you enjoy this PBS University instruction.